pretend they're. Oh, uh, thank you. That was fun. Regardless of age or nationality, magic is something that has continually astonished people throughout generations. And though it's often said that seeing is believing, when it comes to magic, what we see is rarely what we get. And thank you so much. You're uh, most welcome. My pleasure. Which begs the question, how is it possible that magicians can trick our minds into believing something that actually isn't there? To truly understand the art of magic, one has to study its underlying foundation of psychology. So speaking about things that you actually can't explain, um, do you happen to be carrying a credit card with you? My credit card, yes. Yeah, American Express, my favorite. <laughs> Visa Master will do just fine. Visa? Brilliant. Visa, it's okay. And could you go one step behind? Thank you. Steady, three, two, one, go. And the return ticket. So Felipe, you know, you're known in the past for having levitated yourself and do numerous mm -hmm. other illusions. You're a close-up magician. You know, what kind of techniques, other than maybe the sleight of hands, do you employ in your magic tricks? Sleight of hand is just a technique, and it's basically the easy way because um, the technique, which is basically what you do with your hands, you always know if it's perfect or not, right? Like you stand in front of a mirror, you practice, you see the angle, and you know the level of perfection in it, correct? Whereas the presentation, the psychology, the timing, it depends on every group you approach, on every nationality, cultural boundaries, and it gets complicated to evaluate whether it was perfect or not. It could have been, um, a little bit better, but it's very complicated to evaluate perfection from that point of view. So what kind of psychology is involved in magic? Basically what magicians look, is, uh, look for as an emotion is astonishment. That's what makes us uh, unique as a of entertainment. A comedian looks for humor. Magicians will look for astonishment and it, um, it's triggered no when you way. have a contradiction between both <laughs> hemispheres of your brain. So your left side, which is your, nat your rational side, is experiencing something that you can't really understand how it's happening. Now, your eyes don't cheat on you. What you see, it's really happening, but you can't understand how. There's a big difference between an illusion from a magician point of view rather than an optical illusion. An optical illusion is where your eyes cheat on you. Let's say you're driving on the highway and you can see water at the end, correct? But it's not there, but you're seeing something that is not there. When you experience a magic performance, you see things that are happening, but you just can't explain why. What is actually happening? Well, we have uh, techniques to create that happen. <laughs> I cannot be extremely explicit with that because magic is an art based on mysteries. Basic misdirection 101, to put it somehow, um, you look where the audience, where you want the audience to look. So um, you, if I look here, your attention is going to be here as well, okay. while I could do dirty work somewhere here, okay. right? But that's very basic. When you uh, start studying levels of um, misdirection, um, you try to lead the audience to a curve, it's a sinusoid of a tension, relaxation, tension, relaxation. So you use um, a revelation of a good effect when people go like, oh my, then you have a relaxation second, all right? Or you use a joke, or you use a comedy, or another astonishment, or um, you use something to create that uh, relaxation mood and there is where you can actually bring the elephant and they're not going to see it because they lost their um, level of attention. That's more or less the idea. You have to put people off guard. This last illusion I'll do for you, Dina, is called disgusting. And the name is a warning. I don't want complaints later. You already know this. This illusion is disgusting. All right? It took a lot of pain to learn, so I really hope you enjoy it. Look at it as close as you want. It's a black bead. It's plastic. No big deal. Zero commercial value, but it has two important properties. Okay. It's a solid object and it doesn't have any sharp surfaces. What's the name of the routine? Disgusting. Good memory, Dina. Okay, here we go. That is disgusting. 
Presentation, misdirection, timing, and psychology. There's so much to understand when it comes to the mysteries of magic. But just remember, the less you do know about the alluring world of illusions, the more astonishing your experience will be.